I'm Abdul Razak by the way. Um, today, I'm just going to take you through a little sensitization talk about drug abuse. So, with starting, we have to look at what drug abuse is all about and some effects of drug abuse and why, as a student, you should not abuse drugs so as to maintain your self-personality. You know, every student wants, as a student, if you complete and you live here, you should be of good life to society and to yourself. As a student, there are certain um, standards of living that you have to live in order to maintain your self-esteem and also your self-personality so that when you live here, your legacy will still be here and you continue leaving your legacy at your various homes. So today we will look at what drug abuse is. Taking a drug, we all know that when one takes a drug, drug is used to uh, reduce, uh, to influence the body. So that the body, to influence the body against diseases and sicknesses whatsoever. So when you take excessive uh, of these drugs, when you take more of these drugs into your system, it influences your system, then your, it may swing your mood or change your behavior or even change your character, which you yourself, you will not like it. So we say drug abuse doesn't only destroy the habit, but kills the family, kids, and anyone who tries to help. So if you are abusing drug, you are a drug addict, you will get to realize that when you uh, abuse this drug and anybody try to talk you out of these drugs, you will try to fight back. You may end up harming them, harming yourself, and even your self-dignity will not be maintained. Because when anybody sees you, he will just People will just be pinpointing at you. This is a drug addict. This is a this is a person who abuses drugs. We all know the status of people who abuse drugs in society. These drugs we are talking about, what are they? We have cocaine. We all know uh, if even if we don't know cocaine, but we are fed of cocaine. This tobacco, we are fed about it. And you know how these drugs influence the functions of us as human beings. So drug abuse is also known as drug addiction. So when a person says drug abuse, another person says uh, drug addiction is the same thing. So uh, we say it's, a, it's defined as a chronic uh, relapsing brain disease that is characterized by compulsive drug seeking and use despite of its harmful consequences. Those who abuse drugs knows what the drug is capable of. They know the consequences. But you know the initial intake of the drug is always voluntary. You take it, then as you continue to take the drug, you become addicted. And when you become addicted, despite you know knowing the consequences of these drugs, but you cannot abstain from it. You become addicted to it. It will be some kind of food to you. When you don't get it, you can't function in your normal life again. So, as I've uh, rightly briefed you about um, the definition of drug abuse, we will be looking at some of the some of the some of the signs of uh, drug abuse. When a teenager is abusing drugs, what are some of the signs you see in a person? What are some of the uh, possible features the person is you are likely to see in the person? So we say when well, we have a group these features into some five features that we are going to be looking at. We are going to be looking at the physical signs in the person, the emotional signs in the person, 
the family dynamics, then we are going to be looking at school behaviors of the person. So we are going to take the physical signs of the person. You see, when a person starts abusing drugs, uh, you experience fatigue. You experience fatigue, then you his eyes will also be, be red. Then you also have a lasting cough. So this sign, after I finish, and you take all these signs into consideration, and you get to realize all these signs from a friend or a close one, and you you get close to the person, try to find out what's wrong. If the person is into drug abuse. You can try to talk the person out of the drug abuse. That is the purpose why we are here. So as for you to be able to maintain your self-respect and self-esteem. So we have the emotional science tool. The emotional science tool we have is personality change. Your personality will change when you start abusing drugs. You have sudden mood changes. Your mood will change. The normal mood you used to be in, you will not experience such because of because you are abusing the drugs. You also have um, poor judgment and lack of interest. Certain things you used to do and enjoy it. Certain things, uh, certain aspects of life you used to enjoy, such as playing of football, let's say playing of amping. Let's say uh, watching television, reading journals, you will not enjoy them anymore because you are addicted to the drug. And since you are addicted to the drug, there's nothing that interests you as compared to the drug. This having said, if you have any question that you you would like to ask, you are free to ask so that we all put our hands together in solving them. Anybody with any question, maybe on the causes, on the implications, or maybe on drug abuse as a whole. Yes. yes. My concern is, I'm a weed smoker or cigarette smoker. I want to stop. How do I stop it? How do you stop it? It's a good question. No. The drug uh, abuse, like I rightly mentioned earlier on, those involved in the drug abuse also want to stop abusing such drugs. Certain times, some of them, they want to stop. Like the writer mentioned, he's a weed smoker or a weed smoker. And he wants to be out of uh, smoking those weed. How do he, as a person, stop uh, abusing such drugs? One is you will learn uh, another way of dealing with your fears, your stress and depression. 